should be screened for lung cancer. Right now, we're only looking to screen people who we know are at high risk of developing lung cancer. So there are many risk factors for developing lung cancer. The one most people know about, and probably the biggest one, is a history of personal cigarette smoking. However, there are other risk factors. There are genetic factors that we don't totally understand, which contribute to developing lung cancer. So a family history of lung cancer is a risk factor. There are environmental exposures that contribute to the risk of lung cancer, things that you are breathing in from the air. Radon is one. Radon is a naturally occurring gas that is in um, many places and uh, is undetectable without doing specific tests for it. Um, other exposures to pollution and asbestos and other environmental agents can contribute to lung cancer risk. But right now, screening is recommended for people who are known to be high risk for lung cancer because of their cigarette smoke exposure. And that's because we have had large clinical trials, including the National Lung Screening Trial in the United States and the Nelson Trial in the Netherlands and Belgium. And these large trials spent years studying the benefit of screening and they looked at people who were older adults who had smoked cigarettes for a long time and in those groups we know with certainty low dose CT scan done regularly every year improves um, survival saves people's lives from lung cancer through early detection there are other people who are maybe at risk for lung cancer, but we don't know the best way to screen those people. Uh, part of the issue with screening is the type of test that you have, and part of it is the group of people that you want to screen. When we make any recommendations for screening, we're always thinking about large groups of people. We're never thinking about an individual person sitting in front of you, but you're thinking about in this country, people who are this age and who have this kind of um, exposure history should be screened because the studies have shown us that that's how it works. For individual people, um, even someone who knows they have a family history and maybe some exposure history, we don't have guidelines to tell us the best way to screen those people because no large studies have been done. Those are kind of a small group of people relative to the group of people who have smoked cigarettes for a long time. I do think one day that there will be a screening test which is better suited to screening most people or everyone. But right now, the low-dose CT scan of the chest is not a good test to give to everybody, regardless of whether or not they ever smoked, because most people are not going to develop lung cancer. And the CT scan does have some potential downsides, including that it uses radiation to get the scan. So people who are getting a low-dose CT scan are exposed to a small amount of radiation. So we know that people who are high risk for developing lung cancer because of their history of cigarette smoking for a long time are the people who are most likely to benefit from routine annual low-dose CT scans of the chest. In closing, I want to commend you for taking the time today to learn more about lung cancer screening. Maybe it's going to help you. Maybe it's going to help someone that you love. Right now, lung cancer screening has been recommended for over 10 years, but many people who are eligible who might benefit from lung cancer screening still don't know about the test. A low-dose CT scan is a very easy test. It is quick and it's painless and it's covered by insurance if you're eligible. So if you or someone you love have smoked cigarettes for a long time, please think seriously about getting a lung cancer screening CT and ask your doctor about it today.